Hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nisha Gotani, and I'm a design enthusiast. I'm currently working at Catch Teams, and the topic of my presentation is enhancing UI UX design for your WordPress websites. So in this presentation, I'll be only giving quick tips as UI UX itself is a very huge subject to cover in this short time. So now we'll begin. So here are my table of contents, and I'll be talking about each content that are shown over here today. So I'll begin now. Uh, why is it important for us to involve enhancement in the UI UX design? That's because humans are naturally drawn to good-looking things, and psychology says that they love being around attractive things. And when they encounter a visually appealing designs, they experience a positive emotional response, which leads to the increased motivations, enhanced attentions, and a greater ability to tolerate mistakes and errors. So by saying that, I'd like to say a bit about the evolution of the website itself. So since the dawn of the internet, the network of computers, websites has been a gateway to access information over the vast network of interconnected computers. Websites have seen a lot of changes, and along with the evolution of the internet, uh, websites have seen a lot of changes, and from dial-ups to optic fibers, from static read-only web 1.0 to the dynamic ongoing web 3.0, where the e-commerce, blogs, and sites with information are to be updated regularly. And with the transitions in the websites, there has been a significant shift in the website design and development process as well. And in Web 1.0, we can find less of an interactive component, whereas in the Web 3.0, we can find lots of interactive components where we can interact in a more uh, good way. So, by saying that, I'd like to say what is UI and UX design. So UI design refers to the aesthetic elements such as typographies, buttons, colors, icons, and so on. And this focus on how the product looks and feels when the problems are being solved. Whereas the UX is the experience that the user gets while interacting with the products. And it deals with the entire journey of users to solve their problems. And talking about UI UX designers, they must have the capabilities of understanding the user's psychologies to grab their attentions. It's like designers are the psychologists and researchers who can take a very complex problems and turn it into a smaller, digestible pieces. And um, designers play a vital role in increasing the credentials of the company. Even the research done at Stanford says that 75% of the consumers make judgment about the company's credibility on the basis of its website design. That means the website design of your company should be as carefully planned as the content of your site. So by saying that, I'd like to say a bit about the key components of enhancing the UI UX designs. So there are several key components, but today I'll be specifically talking about six key components three on each UX and UI. So now I'll begin with the UX key components. So as I've already mentioned, there are three of them. Now I'll begin with the first one that is a user research. So user research is the initial process of designing. And in this process, we need to know who are our potential customers, what are their targets, problems, pain points, and all those underlying factors which helps us creating a better design. And and research must be done at quantitative and qualitative way as it enables us to create a design that would be very valuable, usable, and intuitive for our users. And user research helps enhancing the design by providing a user engagement and develop the empathy for the target users. And there comes another point that is an interaction design. So interaction design is a process of incorporating all of those interactive components like links, buttons, icons, hover, and so on. And interaction design at its core is creating a conversation. So interaction design helps a good interaction design, ensures the accomplishment of the user goals, and increase the user satisfaction, loyalty, as well as increase the conversions and the sales. As you can see over here on the screen, 
There are two design plays, one with the less users of the interactive components, whereas with the one uh, with the good users of the interactive components. And with the good users of the interactive components, it will be very easy for us to communicate and interact with them. So there must be a very good users of the interactive components. And there comes the another point that is accessibility. So accessibility, with accessible feature, it automatically enhances overall websites and it even increases the chances of getting higher ranking on the Google and other search engines. So as a designer, we have the power and responsibility to make sure that everyone has access to what we create, regardless of their ability context or situation. And over 1 billion people worldwide have some sort of disabilities. That means we have got a great responsibility to make sure that the design that we make for specially abled people stands out in every aspect. So there must be the consideration of lots of points while creating a better accessible design. Like we must uh, follow the web content accessibility guidelines. We must be very much familiarized with their standards. And as well as we must use the clear and readable typographies. As typographies is an emotion. So we must use them in the proper way as it helps in conveying the messages in very convenient manner. And one another point not to be forgotten is we must use the consistency and simplicity in our design. When we use the consistent element and simplicity, it helps bringing the cohesive and delightful user experiences. And along with these points, there are so many other guidelines as well that designers must be well educated. So now I'll talk, talk about the UX key, UI key components. So here are the three of them. Now I'll begin with the first one that is a wireframing. So wireframing is the initial process and pre-designing process, and uh, it serves as a blueprint and skeletal framework of the designs, enabling designers to communicate with their stakeholders, developers, and other team members. Focusing only on the content and the structure is the idea behind doing the wireframing. And wireframing enhances UI UX designs by providing a clear structural foundations of the interfaces and even it encourages uh, designers to uh, uh, complete their task in a very smooth manner. So there must be done uh, good wireframing. So another point is a layout design. So layout design is process where we uh, incorporate and organize all of those layout elements like white space, uh, high visual hierarchies, grid systems, typographies, and so on. And after having knowledge about all of these elements, we must be very good at assembling them. And how can we be good at it? By practicing a lot. As practices leads us to improvement, and along with the practices, we must follow the trends, as trends benefit us from the inspiring innovations. And an effective layout will help us to bring uh, very good user interactions, user satisfaction, and it even helps us to know how the user uh, feels and uh, feels about our digital uh, interfaces. So there must be a very good use of layout design as well. As you can see over here on the screen, there are two of the layout design. One is the design that I have made uh, for the WordPress theme, and one is a bad layout design. And with, we can even feel like with the good layout design, it will be very easy for us to communicate and solve our problems, as there are much more user-centric designs. So we must use them in a very proper way. So there comes the last point, that is prototyping. So prototyping is a pre-development process, and it is one of the most fundamental and highly effective technique in enhancing the UI UX design. It breezes the gap between development and designing process, encouraging designers to create more user-centric designs. So in this process, we must have the great communication skills. The more we are able to communicate our designs to the developers, the more refined and polished design will come through. So these are the points. It follows thoroughly, ensures the improvement in the UI UX designs, and it could be a great help for the beginners as well. So by saying that, I'd like to say at last that the true essence of the remarkable UI UX lies in the empathy, creativity, and unwavering dedications in enhancing the lives of our users. 
Together, we have the power not just to shape the interfaces, but the emotions, connections, and memories. So thank you for listening. And if you have any queries, then you can visit my website, and you can even follow me on my Twitter account. So once again, thank you for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful time ahead.